Patriots, been doing a lot of thinking, and I've got some good news. You're going to want to stick around for this. Um, you know, we're still reaping the benefits of getting Donald Trump in that White House the first time. Got Roe v. Wade overturned, giving women the right to choose, freedom to choose. Now they got the freedom to choose whether or not to keep that rapist baby or go to prison. You got the right to choose um, carrying that pregnancy to term that's probably going to kill her and her baby or go to prison. That's great, isn't it? Yep. Even white women. Yeah, I know that sucks. Um, but wait, there's more. We're in the process of undoing about 150 years of civil rights. It's a lot to be proud of all at one time, huh, patriots? Um, but we might want to stop pushing those buttons a little bit because if you get somebody to help you do the math, there's really about 25 million of us hardcore maggot cult members, and we're going to wind up ticking off about 120 million real Americans. But that ain't going to matter because we're putting Daddy Trump mm, 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 and tingles back in the White House. And he's already said what he's going to do. He's doing away with that Department of Justice and he's arresting his political enemies. Because that's what we want him to do, right? That makes him the judge, the jury, the executioner. Does away with that pesky constitution. Makes him king. And being loyal subjects to the king as we are. And often fantasizing about using our pew-pews on our fellow American citizens. Well, it only makes sense then that he's going to make us his special police, right? So who are we putting in those camps and those chambers first? Huh? Is it going to be the black people? How about the brown people? How about those Muslims? Native Americans? We're going to go after the, the white people that had the nerve to elect uh, Barack Obama and Joe Biden? Well, here's the good news. We ain't got to worry about it because Jack Smith made him a trip down to Georgia to talk to the Georgia Secretary of State. Yeah, the very same one that Donald Trump called up and said, I need you to find me those votes that I need to overturn this election because I'd hate for something bad to happen to you. Yeah, that guy. Well, see, Georgia's filing their own separate set of indictments against Donald Trump. So the only reason that Jack Smith would go down there and have that conversation is because Jack Smith is getting ready to file charges of conspiracy to overthrow the federal government. And here's the good news. That bars Donald Trump from ever holding public office in this country again. So if he's already sent you out your special Jim Jones edition Kool-Aid packages, you might as well mix them up and start drinking them now because Donald Trump couldn't run for dog catcher from that prison cell. Sleep well, maggots. Inmate Trump, 2024.